Oh no. So I did everything up till now in one session. And in one day, I mean, I guess. And then I had to take a break and record all of Stray. And I am I'm here like, I don't know, like a week later. Uh this game is a little scary to come back to. It's the game where you're like very much immersed in the moment-to-moment -moment things that you're juggling and you're making a bunch of parallel choices and uh, you take a break and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> which would I, which did I want to prioritize last time? Uh-oh. Okay, so we want to make a, another ship mine, that's what it's called. But I don't have a single ship mine part right now. And... I want to get this chip taken out of my brain. And also we have the endlessly cooking, increasingly farcical question of the assassin who... Interestingly, at the time, I misinterpreted even what my the stakes were. Because I thought I had to get the chip out of my... Out of my... Or disable the tracker, which I'm calling a chip, I guess. I thought I had to disable that before he even arrived. Or, or it would be like a game over fail state and I might even have to start the campaign over. But instead, he's just like... Man, I fucking hate my job. I love my job and I hate my job. I'm just gonna take advantage of this asshole. And now I failed to get rid of him even in that stage. And so he like fucking... He, 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 I actually only had to pay his tab once. And then he like farcically lost his gun in that situation. But now he's coming for me still. And so I'd really like to not have the tracker in my brain. But also like this just keeps getting worse. And I do kind of wonder if... But I also kind of wonder, like, how does the story end? Like, maybe this game just doesn't really have fail states, aside from losing your stats and actually running out of health. And so maybe that plotline's actually going somewhere, other than what is immediately apparent. So it's kind of hard to say. My brain somewhat silly... Sil 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 silly? Silly? <laughs> uh, is to be like, maybe I should approach my problems from the bottom to the top. It's like one way of kind of sweeping things up, because I have been dealing with the construction stuff a lot lately. But it's also just a matter of like, hey, what dice do I got lately? But this is a way to make money. And if I make money, then I can afford to live longer. <laughs> and also I get more dice for making more money! How, how are my chances? Okay, no negative outcome will happen if I use my, my, th my four that becomes a five. So I'll, I'll use that one today. My main goal here is I want to I want to help this thing get repaired, but it's going to take a long time. So I think I'm just going to use all of my good dice here each day so I can avoid any chance of a negative outcome. If I if it says 25% negative, I think I'm going to avoid that and try using those resources somewhere else cuz this is a dangerous event and I have to go all the way around this giant ring to finish it and that's going to take so long that uh Enabling that many potentially negative outcomes along the way seems like just a horrible idea. So these people want me to track the Yada gun. I can also put the ship mine fragments here when I'm done. But it, I'm incentivized not to deal with this until I can get enough ship mine fragments to deal with the other guy. Because what I did is I helped the bounty hunter instead. Was she a bounty hunter? I helped the space lady instead. Uh, so now I don't have the ability to get rid of the hacking problem. So I'm not especially good at hacking either, but, you know, kind of ideal. The ship mine fragment... The thing is, I can buy ship mine fragments, but I need, I need enough money. I can, only I can only afford two of these, and then I have to hope to find a third one somewhere else. But it's also going to cost me a lot, and as we whittle my, my resources down, there will be the question of, like, Will I be able to afford my healing? I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit torn. It's right now... Ow. Right now I can almost afford both of them. But, can I get a hundred again to get the dose that I need to not die? But also, this will be gone in a few turns. But also maybe I'm in for the long haul for so long with stuff like this that maybe, you know, I should just like be expecting to wait for the next version of him to come by. This is just the other dock we're waiting for him to come back. So maybe it's time to get to work on this, uh, this situation. Nope, that's the vendetta that's gonna come up at some point. That's, I mean, 
the other bar. Wait, what? Improve the overlook. Where is the overlook? Oh, there it is. I went right past it. The other bar icon. So I keep working at this, which also requires engineer, which means I also get a bonus at it. But at least it doesn't usually kill me. <laughs> I don't think I can lose health. I can just lose other effects, which sucks, but isn't the end of the world. So I have a 75% chance of success here, and then this will finish this entire event. I did the thing! I got a double bonus, I think. Cool. Neat. Alright. Kala stands back from the newly finished still and tubs, hands on hips. Look at this! She grins. The Overlook Distillery in all its glory! She squeezes you around the shoulders. Thank you! This is the two worst things a game can have, by the way, for making a let's play or a let's play longer than the normal gameplay experience. One, I explain my thought process instead of just clicking on things, and two, I'm reading dialogue out loud instead of reading it in my head, which like every visual novel that is played for a let's play is like four times as long as it is when you play it single player alone and aren't doing a series on it. So like, that's, I'm just I'm just I'm just amused by that dynamic here. In fact, I'm using I'm doing this game. To, as the lead up to a game that will also have that issue where, I, where I'm reading it out loud, so it's going to take maybe a hundred episodes. Outsourcing ingredients. Kala smiles. I think I've got most of it covered between the mood factories and the low end and the farm stacks and the greenway. However, she pauses. There is an issue. What's the problem? Well, G rolls the drink. Well, Giro the drink, as you probably guessed, is named after Giro the mushroom. That's what gives it the golden color and earthy taste. The alcohol is infused with mushrooms along with a mix of spices. Okay, it's, it's time to check. Is Giro a real word? Girol. Giro. Girol. It's French. Girol. That's close enough. <laughs> G-roll is close enough in that I don't have French syllables in my brain. I took German. Uh, but like I'm pretty close, actually. I'll take that. That means you need G-roll caps to, to make G-roll. What? <laughs> We're saying it so much that it's starting to break my brain a little bit. But no one wants to supply us. The distilleries on the Greenway are, ta are taking all the stock from the farm out there, so it's hard to get a single cap across Founders Gap. However, I have an idea, she smiles. We can grow our Giro caps here, she gestures at the increasingly equipment-filled back room. Are you sure? Totally sure, Tala puts a hand on the still. We made a still? We set all this up? How hard can growing mushrooms be? They don't need... They don't need light. They barely they barely need so soil. We can do this. She pauses. Or at least we could. If we had something to grow them on. Like spores. Exactly. Suddenly you feel like you've walked into a trap. And you are the perfect person to get me those spores. She nods rapidly. Think about it. You built the still. You're great with plants. You know the eye like the back of your hand. No, I don't. Need I go on? Half of that isn't even true. Don't be modest. She pats her shoulder. Look. I can't leave the bar, and the other people picking up shifts, she grimaces. I'm saying it has to be you. Fine. Wonderful. You'll you'll love it over on the greenway, I think. All that fresh air, open space. She sees your expression. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. She turns back to look at the still and the fledgling distillery forming around it. Is it really something? It is really something, though, isn't it? And want to or not, you really have to agree. And want to or not, you really have to agree. Not in that voice. That was the distinction. So we need spores. Grove spores. Three, apparently? Good luck. Which means I need to get to the grove, which means we're, that whole location's dead to me unless I want to work shifts. With lower consequence. They can still use up my food, though. Speaking of food, I need food. Uh, not you. Or I'll be in trouble. These only cost 15. So 
So he and he wants G roll caps. So I might be able to grow them at the other place and bring them here, or I might be able to find the caps myself somewhere else. Hard to say exactly, but I don't need to eat for two more days now. I'm never entirely sure when. There's two things about the injection. I'm never entirely sure when I should buy it. And then it's partly because I'm never entirely sure how much it refills me either. Obviously, the lower this gets, the more my days just suck. Because I just have shittier and shittier days where I can get less done and time moves faster. Which means the negative consequences of time moving happen faster. But also, I don't know, like, if it gets low enough, does it not even fill me up all the way anymore? Like, I don't actually know. T-B-H. But that's all of my actions for today. Which means I can't spend money... Or spend any dice to get more money to buy the injection now anyway. I feel like it's at least best to keep it in the top half. No. One, two, three. It's easy as sorry. Well, that sucks. I can use them to work shifts, but I can't use them to to further this goal anymore. I could use them to, like, just kind of learn about this new location down here. Learn about low end more. Or babysit Lem and Mina's unit, which... Engage. Safe. I guess? It has a negative outcome, but the negative outcome, I think, just exhausts me. Instead of, hey, because I do need, to, I do want to help them out, but I think I also didn't get paid for this, so I can't put all of my time in there. But all I have left is I wanted it to now. Ah. So. You don't want to gamble with that, though. May I have eight dollars, please? I got eight dollars! All it cost me was my life. Okay. Let's get out of here before I get in more trouble. I should just spend the last one, shouldn't I? 50-50 negative. Because I just gotta know. Is it gonna put me in a situation where I need to eat or not? Or should I just hold on to it and not spend it here? A one is so bad that it will most likely waste your stuff. This is a 50-50. Doesn't this mean that it can make me lose instead of gain? But it also could help me gain? Okay, it gave me a gain. Oh, negative outcome plus energy. Okay, that's good to know. A negative outcome at sunbathe does not make me lose energy. That's good. Okay, maybe it maybe gave me le way less than normal or something. But yeah, at other locations, a negative outcome makes me lose energy, which means I then have to spend more money to eat, which means I then have a budget problem where I can't afford to eat and get the injection. But sunbathe is a throwaway thing for your shitty dice that lets you refill this meter without having to pay for it. So that's nice, because the other, the other place to throw those things away without negative consequences is a place that gives you negative consequences, which is hacking. Uh, Hacking giving requiring like a one or a two on a regular basis feels like a very obvious way of throwing away your, your low dice Except for the fact that the fucking hunter there is there to punish you at regular intervals for hacking So I need to get rid of the hunter, but to get through the hunter. I need the money That I did you There's the stable wiser All right, so to get rid of the honey the hunter I need the money that... Why does it say continue? Oh, hello. To get rid of the, the hunter, I need the money I just spent on the stabilizer to get the, 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 the ship mined, but getting three ship mine pieces costs almost two entire stabilizers. As you quickly leave the surgery, eager to be away from Toshiro's glare, 
you notice something wrapped around the stabilizer vial clutched tightly in your hand. You open your hand and a thin film marked with holes and sigils unrolls from around the vial. At one end it has a hard metal strip, a handle. Inspect the film? You hold the cloudy film up to the light. It is perforated with ornate patterns of holes. You can make out a word among the markings, passkey. Is this an entry key for somewhere? Inspect the handle. A metal handle is worn and pitted, but you can see a set of numbers imprinted on it, 207F. And then, crudely scratched onto the handle at some, li at some later date, low, to low end. For a moment you consider going back to the surgery to return the key, then quickly think better of it. Did Sabine want you to have this, or is Toshiro passing on a message? Time to head to low end and find out. Hello. Hey, drive complete. Which drive was that? Was it survive? Just buying X number of uh, thingies? <laughs> That's basically what it was. Yeah, I could do with proficiency at, at engaging actions. Engaging is what I do at the bar to, for money, and it's what I do uh, with the kid. So not having, not being punished for it going badly would be a nice thing to have go away. And that one improves my chances. All right, so. I don't think... Hmm. Here it is. Okay. It wasn't an objective yet. What's gonna happen here? As you push the door open, the automatic lights flicker on inside the apartment. They reveal yellowing plastic panels, the curved shape of wall-mounted utility units, the detritus of a routine life arranged on every surface. You step inside, clicking the door shut behind. The amber light of the aging fixtures glaze everything with pale orange. The work surfaces hold a variety of objects, indistinct in the dull lighting. A pale blue light drifts from doorway from the door a doorway at the end of the room. Inspect the surfaces. Smudge through the smudges through the thin layer of dust suggest a recent and a uh, recent rare and hurried visit. They trace a path to the water dispenser, the auto wash, then to a cabinet still half open. On the shelf sits an empty pill case. Go to the doorway. You cross the cramped utility room, with its Auto wash, dispensers, water closets, towards the doorway. Through the doorway is a dark, warm room, lit only by the faint glow of a terminal screen. Inspect the room? A bunk is tucked into the wall. The blankets ruffled. A wall desk glitters with rows of vials and containers. A briefcase lab sits open and sits open loaded with rows of re Okay, this should be, maybe it should be a comma, I don't know. A briefcase lab sits open, loaded with rows of reagents and compounds you do not recognize. In comparison, this room is clean, ordered, controlled. Approach the terminal. As you approach, there's a crackle from somewhere in the dark. Sleeper. Zabin's voice shakily echoes through the, the apartment. Welcome to my home. I am sorry I can't be there. I have had to... Make alternate arrangements. You hear rattling noises, static. I was able to record this message, but I don't dare to show my face. Something is happening within Yatagan. I no longer trust them. Their voice becomes distant, slipping behind the background noise. I have something to ask of you. I want you to get me out. Yatagan were supposed to hide me, to protect me. After everything happened, 
I was desperate. And then after that, I was too tired to care. A noise, like waves, passes over the recording. But I'm done with them now. I want out. Screw the debt. But I need insurance. Something I can hold up against them. I have my suspicions, but I can't be sure. I need information. And, as you know, you need me. A pause. Something clicking in the dark. This isn't a threat. You have to understand my position here. Another pause. I know, sleepers. I have been here before. I can help you, but not with the Adagon's noose around my neck. Get me data. Get me information. Get me something I can use against Yadagon. Then I can get out, and you can get what you need. Please. Waves of static cut into Sabine's voice. Bring it here to my terminal. I'll get it to you when I can. You look around the tiny room, and try to imagine Sabine living here. Working at the desk, sleeping in the bunk, blinking into the terminal in the dark. The recording cuts to static, filling the room with its white hiss, then silence. Access the terminal. You sit in front of the humming terminal, and hit a few keys. Sabine has left an access port open, but the rest is encrypted. Locked away behind passcodes, it seems Sabine might not trust you as much as they think they want to think. Who does Sabine need to hide from? And what debt do they owe to Yadagan? Try to assemble the pieces, but too many are missing. The only thing you know is that without stabilizer, your body will die. You glance at the briefcase lab on the desk, its glassware glinting in the dark. You turn away and leave, the door clunking shut behind you. Back in the corridor, you notice the scrawling graffiti of a blade on the opposite wall. Yadagan. You feel yourself being drawn into something you don't quite understand. Hmm. Helps to be now. There's so many tasks. It's hard to keep straight. Extract Yadagon data. So I got multiple reasons to hack now. So if you have a hacking skill, it is greatly justified. Which is why the hunter is such a barrier to deal with. Great. All right. The question is, how much can you trust as a mean? Because right now, you potentially benefit from the fact that they are trapped in this shitty life where they can't get out of, as depressing as that is to think about. The fact that they're trapped means that they won't go anywhere. There's kind of a weird... Like, a way that people kind of mutually benefit from the fact that each other are trapped in the system because they're stuck here and they have certain things they have to do on certain routines to survive, and in our case, it's this this uh, stabilizer. If Sabine's station in life improves and I'm not set for life, then I die because that's the only reliable source of stabilizer in the entire game. It's when I have to get 100 credits for every time, and so I could very possibly fail that and die at some point. But if they leave, then I'd lose forever, essentially. So the question is, just how much does she have my back? Do, do, do they have my back at that point? I'm tripping, I'm tripping up a little bit, whoops. Sometimes the name, I get thrown off by the name a little bit sometimes, but Zabine uses they, them pronouns, which they, they introduce without calling attention to. It's just the na the narration knows already. All right, so this freight is going to be gone, and I need 120 credits before it leaves, which is not going to happen. A one, a one, a three. Oh, I for damn it! The cutscene distracted me, and I didn't use the stabilizer. How do I use it again? It's here, right? Yes. But I don't get the dice back, right? I get them next turn. <sighs> Alright. Damn it. This one sells scrap. This is mostly trash, but it might be a higher than normal chance of getting... A... You can only buy three, which is as much as one... Uh, ship mind fragment. And if you're lucky, maybe doing three of those will give you more than one ship mine fragment. But if you're unlucky, it'll give you zero, and then you spend just as much for nothing. 
So that's a fun gamble to deal with. Alright, so I don't... I'm not sure how badly I want to be hacking right now. How much, how much data do you need? Three. Meanwhile, you want me to hack... Havenage agent. So I have a lot of incentive to hack right now, but it's just that I don't think it'll I don't think hacking gives you a bad ending necessarily but I do think it's going to keep eating into my health the, the more times I do it. So having two competing goals is kind of rough. At least one of these might result if I trust her if I trust them it might wait oh wait I have to track it ba -doop -ba -doop. if I trust them there's the hope that maybe they really will help me with the stabilizer situation more but if I, they could also fuck me based on reasons I said before but I'm getting so many bad rolls. It feels like I might as well try to get progress on this. I'm getting an appalling number of ones. I think those are the only Yadagon agents. Maybe more will show up tomorrow. I don't want to start the Havenage one because I can't do both without the negative consequence happening, so I'd at least have to, like to have a positive thing happen too. If you don't mind, you know. Let's see. Still trying to get low ender status around here. And I'm bad at that, so let's try to get do some block maintenance and see if they like me. Please like me, guys. I would like intel and not negative outcomes. Welp. One scrap. I can sell scrap at least, which I think is better on average. Oh, I do have a Haven Edge date already. Ripper Worm. I don't know where to use the Ripper Worm. I don't think I'm in the have the place unlocked yet. I think that might be require me to go further down. Ah. Ah. You know, let's, let's try to sell the thingy. And I don't think it'll work, though. But, uh... I need food. I think it only gives me... Oh, it gives me 12. Ah, it's still down by one! Because I need 15 to, to eat. Shit. Shit. And this place, the rations were destroyed earlier. And that accident. So I can't do the the cheap the cheaper food. You can't can't eat or drink here anymore. The options are are gone. I think that's every food option. I think I have no other way of recovering condition, so I'm just gonna have to uh, I think if I had Yeah, all cryo actions are discounted by twenty percent. So, I, I, if I have two more points, I can become a haggler and just have better options. That'd be pretty good, actually. I should probably be working towards the skill as, as best as I can. Because I, all I'm talking about right now is the cost of everything that's in my way. How much it costs to eat, how much it costs to uh, get my, my injection. What if that costed 80? And what if... Uh, what if the head, the, 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 the ship mines costed 48, I think? Like, that's, a, that's those, those add up real fast, actually. With a, with a, in a game with carefully controlled margins. But anyway, I just have to eat this now. So my, sta my stability is going to drop more. Oops. The normal. This sucks. Or 
or not? It only went down by one. Maybe it only counts as... Maybe you only suffer the consequences of starving... Once it, you start the days at zero. Or you, well, you go to sleep, you know, you go to sleep at zero. It goes down by two every day, but I guess maybe be, being at one or two is the same state? I think I just learned something important. That's cool. That is cool to know. You know what else would be cool? It would be uh, getting high dice rolls ever so I can work at this place without significantly risking myself. That's This is too many times to do a 25% uh, chance of, of losing health. I, I guess that's just going to be a long-term goal. Alright, let's see if a new Yadagun agent showed up. by one. Sword. Art. Online. <laughs> How did Sword Art Online become the Nickelback of anime? I never watched it, so I don't know anything about it. I just know that it's talked about in exactly the same terms as Nickelback. As you turn away from the terminal, the final cache of Yadagun data uploaded, the air crackles with white noise. Sleeper? Zabine's voice, weaker than before, comes through the haze. Zabine? A sigh of relief comes through the layers of noise. The call must be coming in from somewhere on the station. This has to be short. I don't know if Yadag if Yadagun are monitoring me. Their voice is hushed, distant. You try to focus on it. The data you've been bringing in from Yad Yadagun agents. There's something in it I don't understand. A shrill howl rattles through the signal. This data is all gleaned from their implants. Records of integration and their nervous systems. Performance analysis. Error rates. Usage data. I installed many of these implants, and I didn't enable any of this functionality. Their voice dips under the level of the noise, like a swimmer slipping beneath the water. You listen to the waves for a few seconds before Zabine re-emerges. Has to be somehow baked into their wetware's interface. And that's not all. The systems compiling this data are connected to some kind of transmission protocol. It's being broadcast. Wait, why? Every Yadagun Enforcer is equipped with, a black, with black market implants. Retinal enhancements, adrenaline boosters, pain suppressors. These implants are getting data on themselves. On the Enforcer's bodies, on their performance. Why, I can't tell. But I can promise you these foot soldiers have no idea this is going on. The background tone switches, dropping to a tiny rumble. If they knew, I don't imagine they would be happy with the situation. Yadagan could have could have a mutiny on their hands. You lean toward the terminal, straining to listen to Sabine's faint voice. I need a few cycles to put all this together. But this might be the information I need to pressure Yannick into releasing my debt. Yannick? He's one of the heads of Yadagan. They pause. It is better that you don't know him. Keep that keep it that way. Suddenly, a banging echoes through the, through the call. Zabine's voice is suddenly whispered, panicked. I have to go. Come back in four cycles. Then the sharp crack of a disconnect, and the silence fills the apartment. I solved your problem in one cycle. And you, I gotta wait four for you? <laughs> Delayed gratification on this drive giving me skill points. You step back from the terminal. What does Yadagan have to gain from monitoring its own members? You try to recall what you know about the gang, but you have little to go on. You think of Toshiro, Zabin's m minder, his mirrored teardrop implant set below hard eyes. What data could they be gathering, and more importantly, where are they sending it? You reflexively rub your forehead, trying to think. Can you really trust Zabin? How did, did they come to be Yadagan's doctor in the first place? You think of their kindness, their care, but also that glazed look of recognition that they gave you when they first met you. That look stays in your mind as you slip back out of your apartment, out of the apartment, glancing around as you close it up and drift into the corridors of the station.
unable to shake the unpleasant sensation of being observed. There's a few questions, like, why is this place so dusty? As if they don't even go here? Was the sign of dust entirely because that's where they were keeping the stabilizer? And that's the stabilizer that they had? Is that why they came back and the, that set of dust was just disrupted? Was it their apartment? Or was this the apartment of the a previous sleeper that now is dead? Because whatever's going on, you think you would think Sabine goes back to their apartment, and the apartment where we're at is seemingly uninhabited with how much dust it has. Something's up. Also, this revenge is just cooking. It's just more things to worry about. Hooray. I don't want to work like this, and I can't do... I can't work at the bar anymore for this much... I could do it for money, but not for progress. In fact, I do need to do it for some money. Because I do need... Hmm. I'm so bad at Intuit. 50-50 chance. That's a 50-50 chance of losing money. That sucks. These get upgraded to fours, which are identical to threes, unfortunately. I should use my twos here because they, they become threes, which makes them uh, this just as good as the fours. Whereas... Uh, I guess at the bar I'm using Engage, which also has a plus one now, so... All of these have the same stats between this Engineer option and the other Engage option, I guess. Energy! Whoa! Bonus energy, look at me go! I would sure like money, though. But now I'm helping out. It's like when I was being a volunteer. Well, there goes the energy. And now I'm starving. Fuck me. Alright, let's try to do some bartending. They have to pay me either way. And I need pay. So I can eat. Or else. Fuck. I should have... Nah, I just realized my mistake. I should have done this first. 25% chance. It's not... Just don't have it. Just don't do it. Yay! We're leaving! I, sh I said I should have done this first because... Uh, if I got a negative outcome, I would have lost health. Because I was starving already. And that would really suck! Alright. Please do me another positive. I gotta get that. Yay! It's not a negative. And plus energy from Thrill Seeker. There you go. There we go. Okay. I'm in an okay place. But yeah, I definitely should have done them in the other order because if I dipped below negative energy, I would have been in trouble. Shiny. Minji Express? Noodle Factory and Delivery? Oh, I discovered a place to work earlier. Right. Minji has a kelp... So it's Noodle Manufacturer. Uh, Minji has a kelp stack in the basement. And he makes noodles from the seaweed. He doesn't pay much, but, if, but he'll feed anyone who does a shift. <gasps> you can eat while getting paid? Presumably also getting paid? Express delivery. Delivering noodles to the nameless unit of the low end take, uh, takes guts and a certain fearlessness when it comes to asking for tips. <laughs> Risky. Okay. That's also- so it's engage and endure, which are two stats I'm good at, which is good. I am built for this. I am Lego She in Season 3. Spoilers. 100% uh, positive outcome. Let's fucking go. Hmm. I'm just registering the fact that there's no, uh... Hmm. There's no progress here, though. So this is just a job. So keep it in mind, but I'm not, like, I'm not filling up Minji's reputation meter, and we're gonna totally deal with that later or something. Anyway, here's a, here's a five that'll become a six. There we go. And a four that'll become a five. I finally got the rolls I was looking for. 
And I get paid for this. So it's this pretty much the most ideal situation is whenever I get good rolls, I can get paid and I can make progress on that thing. So it's just, it's just kind of a no-brainer. Uh, the docks are currently empty. So we're not spending any money on that. Otherwise, I should try to finish any of these I can because anything that gives me one of these finished gives me skill points and I would like two to save money forever, please. I was just working on that. I improved the overlook. Spores. Watching Mina is one of the goals. That w that fills one of these meters. So I guess I should do this one then. Because I'm waiting for Zabine right now. And a lot of these things are ones that I've kind of finished, but I'm waiting for something else to happen. Or for me to gain access to a resource I don't have yet. Also, I have a plus one engage now, so... I don't have to do a maximum risk anymore. A negative outcome. Rude. Positive outcome. Plus energy. Double plus energy. Man, I'm so good with kids. Two more of these and I might actually be able to, uh... Get a skill point from that. I hope. I don't know how much you guys hear my mouse wheel, because it's kind of... I, I'm mouse wheeling furiously. That's how you go up and down the screen. This game might play okay with a controller. I'm, I'm a little curious. It feels designed for a controller in that you scroll up and down the screen continuously. And that makes me curious. But my controller is not connecting. Shit. Shit. USB is hard. And then take the battery out, put the battery back in, then turn it on again. Whenever my controller doesn't immediately connect, I just have to try again by unplugging and replugging in the wireless adapter and then taking out the battery and, and restarting the controller. And then it's like, I work now. Look at me go. Alright, so, ooh. Oh. Camera controls. Oh, only for a moment, though. Right bumper is the upgrade screen. Left bumper is... Oh my god. Overlook bar? How do I control these? So B is leave instead of having to awkwardly go to the top of the screen and click on it. Ah, the weird glowing background is what I'm currently highlighting. That's interesting. So you click on that, then you click on the right dice. Huh. I would say this screen is more awkward, but there's a lot of other things that are actually kind of, like, less awkward. This one area is so dense with, uh, uh things that's kind of hard to highlight the one you mean to. In fact, I genuinely am not sure if I can click on Zabine's place, which is really important because that's how you don't die. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem, but it, it seems to automatically highlight what's in the middle of the screen. Oh, but it skips over things sometimes. Hmm. Well, we learned something. I don't think I'm going to use the controller, though. It's slightly comfier, but no. It's only comfier a little bit sometimes. 